Yeah, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here. Guys, we are back and today we're going to be talking about a much heated, debated topic, uh, but the conversation's about to be closed. What am I talking about? It's been common, common knowledge, no matter where you go. If you go to college for anything nutrition related, whether it's college, whether, you know, uh, the medical space, doesn't matter. Scholars across the board, it has been basically uh, not debated, but the case has been closed. Uh, as far as can the body turn excess sugar into fat, excess carbs into fat? Yes, that's been settled. There's no debate there. But the opposite has been now refuted, finally. And I could have, you know, you, I could have told you that based on just what we see in nature alone. What am I talking about? This is the question that's now answered. Can fat be turned back into sugar, back into carbohydrates? The answer to this is yes, absolutely. And we have some scientists that have proven this for us through multiple pathways. So, you know, in terms of just forgetting about, you know, what you already know, if you think, okay, you know, if you eat too many carbs, if you eat too much sugar, can your body turn that excess glucose into fat? Yes, we see that, right? We see that across the board in the human body. Nobody's going to debate that, not in any, not anywhere in the world, whether in academia or in medicine. But the opposite, like you would see on many college tests, especially that are nutrition based, you know, people often have been asked, oh, well, can fat turn back into glucose? Can fat be turned back into sugar? And, you know, if you answered anything other than um, no, no fat cannot be turned, uh, you'd, you'd fail, right? Now we find that, once again, the science, the medical community has been proven wrong. Uh, you know, we see, that's typically th how things work in the scientific and medical community. Something is widely held and clung onto until it gets smashed to bits. So one of the things that brought this on is, well, I'm going to first answer your question. Yes, 100% fat can be turned back into carbohydrates and back into sugar. Okay, this is the newest research the newest information we have not just in the scientific world but one of the reasons that scientists decided to find you know look for the absolute truth in that is because you know if you look at hibernating animals such as you know whether we're talking bears or any other hibernating animals that hibernate for periods of time we find wait a second liver glycogen only lasts you know a day or two maybe top three days tops depending on the animal and then what happens you know if you're just converting protein uh, into the glucose your body needs because the body has to have at least a little bit of glucose for the brain parts of the kidneys and other tissues to run you know even though ketones can be supplied and fat can be supplied you still need a little bit of glucose for those organs so the question was well you know if if, he's, if it's only breaking down protein you know that's going to be extremely detrimental you're just eating away your body mass and we don't see that with bears or with these hibernating animals so they they were determined to find a pathway which by you know uh, fat can be transferred back into sugar and they found multiple pathways which the body the human body can do that So finally this has been disproven and this guys I'm gonna post the study the study is now posted uh, Below in the comments for you guys. I'll pin it in the comments. Take a look at it. Absolutely fascinating if you've got a science and a Geek brain nerd brain like me and you love to dig through medical studies Please dig through that, you know, and if you have an old if you have Google or if you have an old uh, anatomy biology book you're going to need that because a lot of this stuff uh you know will be foreign unless you've been brushed up so having said all of that this means huge 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 benefits advantages to the carnivore keto and also low all low carb diets why because basically what this means is that not only can you eat protein and fat and survive and thrive off of it but this proves the performance benefit of the carnivore keto diet also because guess what you don't need, need this just further shows that you don't need to consume carbohydrates for energy or to be at peak performance why because your body can just produce whatever carbs it needs directly from fat not even just from protein but directly from fat thereby sparing muscle tissue you know, and we see this, you know, not with people that do the carnivore diet, but again, with, you know, animals being able to do that. And finally, we have the science, you know, kudos to these scientists that broke down these pathways, which by the human body can guess what? Turn fat back into glucose, back into sugar for the body. So take a look at this study, guys. Breakthrough information. Again, if you go to college or if you're in a college classroom right now and 
You know, it's a common thing you'll see on a nutri on any sort of nutrition test. You know, they'll ask you, you know, okay, yeah. Uh, you know, they'll say, okay, well, uh, uh, excess sugar will be converted into fat, and then you have to name the pathway, but then they'll also ask you, hey, you know, uh, can fat be turned back into sugar? You know, and if you if you write no, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll get the question right, but if you write yes, you know, you're gonna fail that question. So it's gonna take some time for the colleges and, you know, everything else to switch and flop, especially because this has been the last, you know, whatever, 100 years, the answer has been no, your body can't turn it. But take a look at this, guys. Seth Spartan, stay safe, stay healthy, carnivore diet all the way for the win. And we are out of here. Boom. Oh.